Right now on the CW, we have been following this developing situation on the Liberty Bridge. A slow drive into work for a lot of people this morning after a crash there around 530 this morning. The car was actually pinned against a barrier by a tractor trailer. Now the latest is coming from Amy Wattis right now as she joins us now from that area. Amy? Rick and Heather, we just moved onto the sidewalk on the Liberty Bridge, and I'm going to step out so you can see what's going on. You can see the tow truck here has the car on the truck now. Behind the tow truck is that tractor trailer that was pinning the car between the tractor trailer itself and the Jersey barrier. So crews out here are making progress, but what's not making progress right now is the traffic jam here still. We are just beyond the 579 on off ramp onto the Liberty Bridge outbound. Traffic is at a standstill here as well as coming from the city. The only way you're going to be able to get onto the Liberty Bridge outbound is from the Boulevard of the Allies. But inbound, it's open but crawling at this point. This has been going on now for about two hours, and uh, we don't know when they're going to reopen the. Uh, the bridge fully to traffic, but a bad time for all of this to happen because of rush hour this morning. Uh, we're going to send things on over to Selena Pompiani so she can uh, lay out for you the other detours you can take to get around this if you typically would take this route. Uh, but for now, we are live on the Liberty Bridge. Amy Watt is KDK News on Pittsburgh CW. Thank you very much for that update, Amy. As you saw from that scene, traffic was still crawling in the inbound direction. So if you need to take the inbound side, if you want to take Route 51 or West Liberty Avenue, you'll be sitting in a lot of traffic due to traffic getting by in that one lane inbound. Outbound, as Amy mentioned, still blocked from Crosstown Boulevard, but it is open from the Boulevard of the Allies. So I would take the Fort Pitt Bridge to get you outbound back onto Route 51. That would be the best alternate route, in my opinion. We'll let you know when all lanes do open, but as you could tell from that shot that Amy just showed us, the tractor trailer still there blocking traffic, so we're not sure of the timetable. We will bring you any updates and we'll let you know when that scene clears. We want to go back to this live picture. This is from one of the PennDOT cameras, and you can see the tow truck there on scene removing that vehicle, and it looks like that tractor trailer is also about to get removed as well. So we could have a reopening hopefully before 8 o'clock, but I'll be back in about 10 minutes or so again. We'll bring you another live update from the scene and we'll let you know if that outbound traffic opens from Crosstown Boulevard from I-579. It looks like that tractor trailer has been removed as well. So again, we'll continue to monitor that scene and bring you updates.